Hi, I'm Sasha Segan from PCMag.com, and I'm here to do something that you absolutely should not do. Let me show you. This is the Onyx Books Max Lumi. This is an $800 plus premier gorgeous e-ink Android tablet running Android 10. Now, Onyx is famous for making these really powerful, really flexible Android tablets that happen to have e-ink screens. And e-ink has really low refresh rates, but this thing runs any Android 10 application. So what do action games look like on an e-ink screen? Let's take a look. So this is what the Onyx Books Lumi is good for. Reading. It has a gorgeous 13.3 inch e-ink screen. And whether you're looking at text or musical scores, or in this case, comics, they look amazing. As you can see here, the Books Max Lumi can also run pretty much any Android 10 app, which means I can run things that really shouldn't run on the ink screen, like Asphalt 9. Oof, that's some video going there. Okay, let's drive. So now we're driving in Asphalt 9 on an e-ink screen with a really low refresh rate. It's safe to say that this experience is horrifyingly bad. It's 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 kind of a it's kind of an epilepsy trigger, isn't it? It's strobing constantly. Whoa! I mean, can you even see where your car is? The controls aren't bad. It's just the animation is a little intense. Now here's the thing, the Booksmax Lumi has several refresh rate modes. And if you want, you can set X mode, which is the highest refresh rate mode, which has screen ghosting, but might make these games a little more playable. Let's try Asphalt 9 in X mode. Now you can already see the contrast is reduced and there's a sort of stippling over the screen. But already the experience is very different. So now we're playing Asphalt 9 on an e-ink tablet in Onyx's X mode. And check this out. This is shockingly not bad. I'm just letting it autoplay. I'm not actually trying to play the game because I'm making a video. The refresh rate in Onyx's E-Ink X mode is startlingly good. And the game is almost playable. Oh yeah, I can drift. Let's try some other games in normal mode and in X mode. Now we're back in normal mode to start up a game of Alto's Odyssey. And as you can tell, the opening cutscene is, well, kind of psychedelic. Welcome to the Endless Desert. The CPU can jump over rocks, but the e-ink screen is having issues. Here's Alto's Odyssey in X mode. As you can see, there's quite a lot of ghosting, and you don't get blacks as pure as you do in the regular e-ink mode. Just like with Asphalt 9, Alta's Odyssey is playable in X mode on this tablet. And it shows the really cool stuff that Onyx has managed to do with E-Ink. Okay, so here's the real test. Can you play Call of Duty Mobile on an E-Ink tablet? Here I have the Onyx Books Max Lumi in its X mode, which is its high refresh rate mode. It doesn't have great blacks, but it has a high refresh rate. 
Okay, so check it out. We are now playing Call of Duty in E-Ink. You can pick up guns, you can move around, you can shoot people. Now, obviously there's gonna be lag. I wouldn't want to do player versus player play on this E-Ink screen, but it is just ridiculous that this is actually possible. More casual games are a lot simpler when they don't rely on heavy animations. For instance, Wordscapes. A little sluggish? Sure. Playable? Totally. In fact, I may want to take Wordscapes out of X mode so that I'm not dealing with all of this ghosting. Now I'm back in normal mode with Wordscapes. And you can tell everything's sharp with no ghosting, but any bit of animation causes a problem. So maybe X mode is a better bet for pretty much all of your games. How about one of the medium modes, like speed mode? Speed mode gives you a little more ghosting, but oh look, it fixes this animation here. So for casual games, it looks like speed mode is the way to go. I can't believe I'm playing games on an e-ink tablet. It's important to note that it's not a gaming tablet, obviously. What it's for is to read a wide variety of content, whether it be Kobo books or Kindle books or PDF documentation or the New York Times or manga, all in this very flexible Android 10 ecosystem uh, with this big e-ink screen. Oh, and you can write on it, too. As you can see, the Onyx Books Max Lumi has a pen, and the lag isn't bad at all. This is the Onyx Books Max Lumi. It is uh, $879, sometimes discounted, and yes, you can play games on the ink, although maybe you don't really want to. This is Sasha Segan from PCMag.com.